Hi, so today's video is brought to you by one of my best-selling MMF bisexual romances before he was famous. And I'll talk more about that and how to get it for 99 cents at the end of the video. Until then, I'd like to talk about the first bisexual superhero character from a superhero movie. And no, I'm not talking about Wonder Woman or Deadpool or Harley Quinn. And why am I not talking about them? It's because although they might be bisexual in one universe and then multi-universe of comic books, they are not portrayed as bisexual on the big screen, at least not yet. But which character is? The Yellow Power Rangers from the Power Rangers movie. And why do I say that? Because it's a kid's movie from a 1990s TV show and toys. And yet, this is the first character that's being portrayed on screen as bisexual. And you might be seeing articles about this where they say, Hey, the Yellow Power Rangers is the first gay superhero character. Woohoo! Yeah, and, and, and granted, I understand why they might be saying that, because the character at no point in the movie said, I am bisexual, and I know because I saw the movie. So yes, it's possible that gay people could want to claim her as gay, and that they might have a right to because it's not very clear to them that she's bisexual. But if we saw it, we would know. So I'm going to break down the scene for you, not giving away any spoilers, not too many spoilers, no spoilers, um, about what happens. And you'll see how we would know that she is bisexual. It's brilliantly done. So so they're all sitting around a campfire and they're talking about how, um, how they're not coming together as a team. And maybe what they should do is they should tell each other a little bit about themselves. And this is the moment where they all share their secrets. And when it comes time to the yellow Power Ranger, who is Trini, she says that she moves around from school to school a lot um, and she likes it that way because that uh, prevents people from getting to know her and that um, she believes that her parents would have problems with her relationships, plural. Um, and after that, the Black Power Ranger turns her and says, boyfriend issues? In which case she says, yeah, boyfriend issues. In which case she, he, um, the Black Power Ranger pauses and says, girlfriend issues? In which case, she pauses and says, my parents are so big into labels. And then goes on to explain why it is that they're into labels and why this is confusing for her and why she's having such a hard time with the fact that her parents are into labels. That's the scene. Now, you as a bisexual tell me that uh, that is not just a clear screaming of a bisexual. And if it isn't, let me break it down to you because break it down for you because not only was this character very specifically written to be bisexual, but it, it was directed in such a way to be specifically bisexual. So what am I seeing here that other people might be missing? Well, let's let's start from the beginning. First, uh, the Yellow Power Ranger says that she believes her parents might not accept her relationships, plural. Now, if a person is lesbian, is that like the most open and honest way? Because remember, this is the group of kids coming together and being open and honest at this point. Would that be the most open and honest way to describe what her situation is? Because as far as I know, lesbians are in one type of relationship, their relationship with other women. So it might be um, more clear to say that their parents might have a problem with who she's dating or might have a problem with who she is or anything along those lines, something more specific to the point. But instead, she says the problem is with her relationships and what type of different types of relationships are there? Well, there's relationships with guys and relationships with girls. So that is point number one that is clearly, although, you know, it could be kind of vague, is clearly for those who are bisexual, a sign of bisexuality. Okay, so what happens next? Next is the Black Power Rangers saying, boyfriend issues, in which case her saying, yeah, boyfriend issues. Now, to understand this, you kind of have to understand the role of a director in stuff like this. So a director is a person who, they come on the very beginning of the process, they get a script, they look at the script, and it's their job to interpret what's there because, you know, words are words, but the nuances and all these things, it's the job of the director to get it all 
together. So actors will have their interpretation, but they have no idea what's going on with the other characters or where the next movie will go, like if it's a part one movie, where part two will go. So they have their interpretation, and the director's job is then to shape their interpretation in such a way that all the different characters come together to say one united message at the very end and also be able to transfer over the second movie and the ideas that are already being planned for the second movie. It's a very complicated job and it takes a very precise skill. So and because that's the situation, directors will sit when they're directing the scenes of movies, will sit there and say, um, actually to the actor, uh, actually, could you say this a little differently? Can you say in such and such here because later on in the movies this happens or in movie two we're going to have this happen. So you can kind of tweak it like that. So what could she have said the actress have said, the Yellow Power Ranger actress have said at this point? She could have said if she was lesbian and clearly everyone wanted her to be lesbian and they want to make clear lesbian, she could have said, yeah, boyfriend issues. Which would make it very clear that the problem with what the Black Power Ranger said wasn't, you know, anything else other than the fact that he's assuming that it was a boyfriend. That would have clearly have shown that she was lesbian. But what she do instead? She used a technique that bisexuals use quite frequently, including myself when I was in the closet. So when I was in the closet, uh, when someone who wanted me to be gay came out and asked me, are you gay? I would very confidently and very honestly say no. I am not gay. Why? Because I wasn't gay. Granted, I knew exactly what the person was actually asking, so I was being a little deceptive, but I was being honest. And this is exactly what she is doing this moment, which is kind of brilliant that the director would have insight enough to be able to do this. She's not saying that he's wrong or chastising him in any way. What she's saying by saying, yeah, bisexual, um, yeah, boyfriend issues, is that, yeah, you're right. Part of my problems are boyfriend issues. You're correct. You might not be completely correct, but you're correct. And she said it in such a way that would make the Black Power Rangers stop and go, well, I got something wrong there. Girlfriend issues? In which case she pauses. That is such a brilliant interpretation of this line. And you have to keep in mind that everyone involved with this movie knew that this scene would be scrutinized to high hell and the parents might have a problem with this and that certain countries would have problems distributing this movie because of this particular scene. So you, you can guarantee that there were layers upon layers of approvals of this particular scene from the Saban to the distributor to like the executive producers. Just everyone looked at the scene and I'm sure they had, they put the extra time in to make it exactly perfect. So her line saying exactly the way it is is a clear indication that, you know, they're not trying to point her out as being lesbian. They're trying to point her out as being bisexual. So what else is there, though? Because after she says, uh, the Black Power Ranger says, boyfriend issues, and she pauses, she then goes on to talk about how her parents are so into labels. Now, you tell me, which group do you know that is super into the problem of labels. Now, lesbians, okay, do they have a labeling issue? Are they stereotypically having issues with labels? Because as far as I know, there's lesbian, there's gay, and that's it. That's all there is. So really, um, a labeling issue? You don't know what to label yourself? Really? Seriously? That's a problem you have? Because there's only two. But the group bisexual, there's bisexual, pansexual, there's fluid, there's heteroflexible, there's homoflexible, um, and then there's straight and gay. I mean, if there's any group that has a problem with labels, it's bisexual. So every one of these things are screaming to the audience that this character is indeed bisexual. And if you ask the director, because the director actually talked about this scene, Dean Isolite said this when talking about this particular scene. For Trini, who is the Yellow Power Ranger, really, she's questioning a lot about who she is. She hasn't fully figured it out yet. I think what's great about that scene and what that scene propels for the rest of the movie is that it's, that's okay. The movie is saying, that's okay, and all the kids have to own who they are and find their tribe. Now, he was a little vague in that, but if you look at the way that the bisexuals will see it, it makes a hell of a lot of sense. So, 
it's not Wonder Woman who's the first portrayal of a bisexual on, on screen, and it's not Deadpool, and it's not Harley Quinn. It is the yellow Power Rangers, which is, to me, mind-blowing, but kind of fantastic, because when I went to the, see the, to the screening, all the kids in the theater were under the age of eight, and the majority of them were girls. So that's just kind of fantastic. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to support the channel, you can do that by uh, checking out my book, Before He Was Famous. It's only 99 cents right now, and it is a bestseller on the bisexual romance charts. It is a bestseller on the LGBT romance charts. And it's a fun and sexy, sexy, sexy read. So please check that out. Or you can check out my t-shirts on Teespring. They're also available. And, um... I mentioned last week that I'm actually going to be starting a bisexual clothing company with bisexual fashions. I'm not going to tell you any more about it right now, but if you would like to follow along the process, I'm putting a link to the Instagram account in the description below, and you can follow along there. It's going to be a fun process. We're kind of far along already. And yeah, it's, it's pretty damn exciting. So check that out and uh, click on subscribe and follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that, but it's true. Follow me on Instagram. Um, if you like the video and like to see more videos on bisexual topic, click on the subscribe button and definitely be sure to click on the bell to let YouTube know that you like to be told when a new video comes out. Until the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler. And... Uh, Check out Before He Was Famous. You might just like it. <laughs> Bye.